Live from Las Vegas. It's the Cube covering Dell Technologies World 2018. Brought to you by Dell EMC and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to the Cube's coverage of Dell Technologies World. I'm Lisa Martin. We are in Vegas. Uh, I'm with Keith Townsend, and we have a couple of guests here joining us as we wrap up day two. We've got Chad Dunn, a CUBE alumni, VP of Product Management at Dell EMC, and Matt Herreras, Senior Director of Product Marketing at VMware. Welcome. Yeah, thanks thanks very much. for having us. So guys, lots of news coming out mm -hmm. today. Um, saw in the press release, Dell EMC now is the number one market leader in global hyper-converged infrastructure. Announcements to VxRail, VxRack, SDDC. Mm -hmm. What's new? Uh, obviously there's a lot new. I mean, really happy with, with the market share and the, and the traction that we're getting with both of the products in the VMware Hyperconverged portfolio, VxRail, VxRack, SDDC. On VxRail, we added new capabilities like 25 gig Ethernet, NVMe drives, uh, new security capabilities, new graphical processor unit, high density memory. Uh, on the VxRack side, we're now on Dell 14G servers. In fact, that hardware is basically VxRail inside VxRack SDDC, so you can sort of start to see how these things come together as we move forward in the roadmap. And we also announced a, a VMware validated design on VxRail, and again, we're starting to sort of merge the, the visions of these two products so they become consumption models of the same technology. So Matt, help paint a picture for what this means for VMware and Typical VMware vSphere, we abstracted away the hardware, so the hardware no, no, no longer matters, right? Yeah, well that's a great analogy actually. So I'm a long time VMware employee, and one of the things that's interesting about vSphere is it really brought together more than one component for the underlying virtualization infrastructure. So what Cloud Foundation is really doing, it's like the next iteration of vSphere. It's bringing together the storage, compute, network, and management layers that make up our entire SDDC solution, and delivering that as a automated and, uh, and day two operated system that customers get the maximum value out of that. And when we partner up with somebody like Dell, who's able to bring unique value on their hardware platforms that's cognizant of all of those capabilities in Cloud Foundation, we're able to really get a lot of traction in the marketplace. Yeah. And, and hardware always matters. <laughs> <laughs> you should have a t-shirt. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we're literally nothing without it. Yeah. So Chad, um, first Dell Technologies World, in the name change, an indicator yep. alone of, of the incorporation of the EMC Federation companies. Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, we'll say power, does that, are you hearing from the customers and the partners that are here in terms of yeah. the strengthening of what that means for Dell EMC and VMware? Well, I, I think the, the obvious thing that, that, that everybody sees is the power of the portfolio that we now have. Yeah, you know, me as a product owner of a hyper-converged platform, I was doing that job at EMC and I didn't have a server. I had to right. go out to ODMs to, to get servers to build our product. But now, you know, I've got the best x86 portfolio in the market, you know, right here under the same roof. And now I have product managers who work for me are now in Round Rock or integrated with those teams. So having the power both internally and, and power for our, our customers to tap into all the things across the portfolio, VMware, Pivotal, uh, RSA, SecureWorks, Virtustream, I mean, it's a really amazing IT portfolio, and, and the great thing about coming to a show like this is I'm seeing a lot of the same faces of, of people I've known for years, I've been here 11 years, and I'm seeing a lot of new faces and getting, getting them re-energized about the technology. So Matt, let's ask you a similar question. Pre-merger, one of the things that on the customer side, you know, I had an EMC rep, rep I had a VMworld rep, Generally speaking, never we've never met together. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk about it, the cultural change, if any, with the relationship with Dell EMC versus the previous EMC, where the portfolio was limited to mainly storage products? Yeah, well, so the reality is VMware has always had a great relationship with obviously EMC, right. they owned us, but also with Dell. I mean, if I think about my years in the field with customers, Dell was the easiest partner for us to go to market with together. They had uh, a great sales organization and great products that customers loved. It was always the easiest to walk into a customer account with a yeah. Dell rep. That's only gotten easier. And because my product that I'm responsible for, Cloud Foundation, is one that lands very specifically on unique capabilities from uh, uh, Dell's uh, solutions, that just makes that conversation more meaningful. Yeah, and it's, it's a great story between us and VMware because we're actually able to, to leverage some of the IP 
that we created for VX Rail and now bring that into our cloud foundation instantiation, which is VX Rack SDDC. So, you know, I think our group, and we're, we're pretty proud of the fact that we probably collaborate more closely with VMware in more places than anybody else in Dell EMC. You know, we've had a long standing collaboration on VX Rail and now with Cloud Foundation, it gets even better. And what's the business value that you're seeing from VCF in the customer space in light of this strong new collaboration? Uh, that's, that's a great question. So, you know, uh, you know uh, virtualization is great, but what really customers are looking for is something that's adapting to the new realities of the way data centers actually exist today. Yeah. It's not just private and public cloud. The dimensions of the data center are expanding all over the place. Edge systems are important, uh, as well as public and private cloud. And what the value proposition we're seeing is having a ubiquitous, consistent, and transparent underlying infrastructure that can exist across all of those, streamless operations, it adds agility to organizations to actually be able to deploy workloads consistently across all of those different platforms. And, uh, and you know, if you combine it with something that uh, uh, we're doing together with Dell, then all of those customers are benefiting across multiple parts of what they consider their data center. Uh, I mean, a great example of this is the kind of work that we're doing around IoT with Dell. And that's another possible uh, profile of workload that could live on top of Cloud Foundation. Now you've got multiple business value points uh, traversing both of our uh, solutions. Yeah. So, I can take VxRail, VxRack, stand, stand up a POC of a open source, software defined data center. Sure. I'm sure customers have tried that and attempted it. Talk about that conversation when they come back, either through the Dell channel or back to VMware and say, you know what, we tried this, this is where it was good, and this is why we're having this second set of conversations. Where are the pain points that uh, VCF, on top of VX Rack, is solving? Well, to start from the bottom up and, and think about the things that we worry about so that you as a customer don't have to. Um, there are you know, between nine and 12 different programmable firmware devices inside a PowerEdge server. Do you really want to track all those and make sure they match up with all your VMware drivers? No, of course not, right? You want something that's automated that lives in the system that knows how to upgrade those drivers, how to upgrade that firmware, connect it to the right bits in, in the VMware stack, and make sure that you're always in a known good state and, and you're going to get peak performance. So we want to take those things that nobody really wants to do and let us do them for you. Uh, when people try to do it themselves, they quickly find out that we were doing a lot of stuff that we didn't always talk about that made their lives easier. So that's on the hardware side, on the software side? Yeah, so I will tell you that there's no way to really uh, deploy applications across multiple uh, points of presence. Uh, hybrid cloud, for example, is not doable unless you can really remove, make the infrastructure invisible in a way. And that's what this collaboration has really done. And that's a critical pain point that you know, customers have always derived benefit from NSX, vSAN, and vSphere, but to have these things all integrated into one product with the Cloud Foundation, that was a game changer for bringing these solutions together for lifecycle management, day two operations as I mentioned, uh, that's unique capability there uh, that is differentiated than just doing an ad hoc deployment of any of these technologies. So the theme of the event, Make It Real, if you look at a financial services institution, for example, Together, what are you making a reality for them as it relates to IT transformation or digital transformation? What is that reality that you're helping them achieve? Yeah, well, so one thing I'll say is that the reality of any workload across uh, multiple clouds uh, delivered to any user to any mobile device or desktop device, that's a real capability that we're delivering. For example, Cloud Foundation can instantiate through this concept called workload domain, both traditional infrastructure as a service applications and VDI, for virtual desktops. Yeah. So this is real work that we're doing with real customers today together. Yeah, I just met with one this morning and they're now migrating about 500 virtual machines per week onto their VX Rack SDDC infrastructure and I believe they just crossed the 5500 VM mark and uh, there'll be 8,000 VMs when they complete the project. So that's real. And, and from a business outcomes perspective, what does that allow that customer to achieve? That, that allows them to you know, transition from where they are today, which is about 60% virtualized, to 95% virtualized when they, when they reach the end of this journey. And because we offload a lot of the tasks around managing the hardware, managing the software, and all of those life cycle things, and the automation that comes from the cloud management platform, you can start to redeploy some of those resources to things that, that differentiate the business, right? 
instead of worrying about all the, you know, the, the bits and pieces that are in your infrastructure. So what's next? What, what's on, on the horizon for the relationship? What are customers asking for? 200 meetings this week, I'm yep. sure there's been requests from customers. Tons of requests. Um, they want to see uh, more automated lifecycle management. They want to see uh, VX rail releases and VMware releases get closer together in time. They want us to be simultaneously shipping, which is something that, that we're working on. Uh, they want latest and greatest. Everybody wants to talk about NVMe. You know, now we have NVMe. Um, faster connectivity for the devices. So, you know, the platform roadmap will continue, but I think what Matt and I, what, what we talk about quite frequently, and you can start to see us foreshadowing this strategy is we have VxRail and we have VxRack SDDC, and we have Cloud Foundation. Does it need to be two, right? How do these come together? Is this consumption model, is this just a different consumption model for the same technology? So we're looking to see what synergies can we bring across those two products to, to build a better portfolio for the VMware hyper-converged uh, use case. Yeah, and I would say for our part, we look to continue this partnership, and I love what Chad was saying about the idea of you know, VxRail and, uh, and VxRack having you know, the same underlying components and how can we uh, bring those things together. I'll also say that looking out into the future, I mentioned multiple workload profiles, data analytics, IoT, NFV, in addition to traditional IaaS, it would be very interesting for us to work together to see how can we move up the stack for, from an automated perspective. Can we automate uh, the applica underlying application infrastructure in a way that will make customers more agile? And that's something we could definitely look to try to do together in the future. Well guys, thanks so much for stopping by, talking about what's new, how you're enabling customers to really facilitate the IT transformation, enabling that digital transformation, and, and delivering a differentiated way of doing that. Thanks for having us. Pleasure to be it. here. Thank you. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE. We are live at day two, or finishing day two, I should say, of Dell Technologies World in Las Vegas. I'm Lisa Martin. For Keith Townsend, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.